Okay, um, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome, you guys, to our presentation. And this is uh, our, our presentation today. We're going to talk about the uh, Vincent van Gogh, and we are group one. Uh, wait. And our members are me, Liu Yehung, and Ung Ngoc Diễm Quỳnh, also Jenny, and Ngo Huỳnh Trung Kiên is Will, and finally, Võ Nguyễn Minh Nguyễn is Sophie. Uh, and, here's a bit about Vincent Van Gogh. Vincent Van Gogh's full name is Vincent Wilhelm Van Gogh. He was born on the 30th of March, 1853, and he passed away on the 29th of July, 1890. Uh, Vincent van Gogh is a Dutch post impressionist painter who was just, who became one of the most famous and influential figures in the Western art history. Here are all the topics that our group will be covering for today. Um, I'll, First thing first, um, I will cover uh, letter 183. Um, in letters one hundred in letters 183's contents are main summary of the contents was that he was feeling a bit stressed about his financial situation. He was also becoming quite anxious about his financial situation since he thinks that he's unable to pay off everything and he wanted his brother to become a painter just like him because he thought that it would be the best for him and he needed to make money but he couldn't sell any of his artworks so he was barely scraping it through day by day um his life in the beginning of this letter was that he was overworked and he was stressed and in his financial situation that he was very poor he couldn't sell his art and no one wanted and he wants to, people to be real with him and not pretend that they were friends with him he was lonely and he had no true friends um letter 302 um the receiver of this letter was theo as so was the last one um, the main information was that he was telling Theo about his situation, how he felt, and his poor mental health, how he was still barely scraping to get by. And his life in the second letter, letter was that he was feeling anxious, feverish, nervous, and overexerted. His living situation was still poor, he was barely making it by, he was lonely, sad, he thought that working was the only um, solution to his situation and everything seemed dark and grim to him. Now, next one is a uh, letter 565. And the main content of this letter is the river is Theo. And he thank you, Theo, for sending him money and he's and God didn't were working together, but the relationship were not good at all. So, God didn't make state or go. He was waiting for him to make a decision with absolutely eternity because person like God Gun must have peace. He has a terrible excitement, so he cuts his old ear and in the high fever as a gift for a woman, and police found him bleeding and and consists in bed. And his life in this letter is live with Gorgon in the yellow house. And Gorgon can go or stay and this is here at a cousin to a woman. And his feeling is terrible excitement. Get in high fever, overwhelm, let and get anger easily 
And next one, the fourth letter is the letter 591. First one is the man ID, man ID in the letter is from Vincent. He wrote the letter to his brother, Theo. And the man ID is Vincent told Theo that the doctor said um, he might have some sort of epileptic attack, but like he seen the uh, uh, he just uh, seems like uh, other disease, and he hoped that the surrounding environment will help him and will make him feel better. And he also said that his duty might be get back to work, and he told that it would be hard for him if in the future if he want to take a break for himself. And uh, his live about his living situations, uh, his life has improved. Uh, his life was brighter than before. He have but uh, he's having some epileptic attack. And the finally is uh, we can see that he's really love he love his job, and his emotions through the letter is he. Uh, happy and he also cares about the painting he cares to know if theo have received the uh, case of paintings or not and he also and it's also helpful like he hoped that uh, everyone will get everything will get better and uh, will uh, uh, go uh, to like the way to the positive way yeah The next letter is level six uh, five two six hundred fifty two. Uh, with the life is fifth letter, his life situation he improved the job that he worked for is what he deserved. Uh, his forgiveness for his job and his father. In, 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 in various protection. Uh. Um, that's all for our presentation. Thank you for listening. Uh, and um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. And Wilhelm. Van Gogh. Okay. Born, so thank uh, you so much. March, Any questions from the class? And he passed away on the 29th. All of right. July, so let us um, have some questions uh, here. Vincent First Van of Gogh all, a that's a good um, presentation. You really got the main husband. points of each letter. I hope everyone follows so that you can also answer the questions when I get to ask you also. All right, for um, this, the question for the letter of Vincent Van Gogh, I want to ask the group, okay? What do you think of Vincent Van Gogh after reading his letters? I personally think that I got a deeper understanding of Vincent rather than just thinking of him as an artist who was popular. I learned about a bit about his personal life and what he went through during his time alive. Okay, that is correct. So, do you think um, do you think that his artwork also has something to do with the way his mind works? I think that's the. I think that everyone's art reflects a, at least a bit of their mind. So, 
I think that his artwork does reflect on how he how he is like living and thinking. Mm -hmm. All right. So why do you think in letter 302, okay, there is another sh um, significant shift in the mood, right? What specific details um, let you know that Vincent is depressed? And what is the reason of his depression? Um, any um, answer from the group? Anybody? Letter 302. Go back your slide, Sophie. You can go back to letter 302. Yep. 302. Next one. Yeah. All right. So there is a shift of mood here in the letter. Um, 185 we know how passionate he is he's uh even though he has a problem with money there he was also very happy with his progress right but in letter 302 there is already a significant change in his mood what is the cause of this uh i think it's because of stress and anxiety and his um financial financial situation which affected his mood quite a bit because he was barely scraping through he couldn't sell his art and he was also quite lonely i think yes that is correct and remember class take note that take notice that this is uh maybe i'm not sure how long it is maybe months or maybe even a year from letter 185 correct because this is already 302 so there are a lot of changes happened already and as you notice um he was always referring to the help that he can get from theo and theo was also having problem at that time because at the beginning of letter 302 he mentioned that there was i mean theo was a bit worried of something but theo didn't mention didn't put details in the letter so that's the reason why he was very anxious during that time okay all right thank you so much and um lastly my question is to everyone um do you think that you know being an artist is um like happy all the time because you know a lot of um artists not only painters there are so many artists different kinds of artists what are those artists singers um fashion models uh what else what, what different kinds of artists can you tell me uh, the different kinds of artists out there someone creative Acting. actors yes actors writers um what do you think is the key to become a well-renowned artist like Vincent van Gogh and other artists. Their creative way of painting, their passion, and their determination, their improvement, basically. Yes, that is true. You should have a passion, love of what you're doing. And most importantly, determination. Don't give up. 
like Vincent van Gogh, even though he did not have enough money to support him, he still continues to work. Okay, next. Thank you so much, Group 1. A round of applause to Group 1. Good job, everyone. Okay, so.